all know that Tony Stark is Iron Man. I am Iron Man. But without the suit, he's just a genius billionaire playboy philanthropist. Tony Stark is rich enough to be Iron Man, but how much money does it take to live the life? Although Tony Stark and Iron Man are fictional, we looked into real world prices to find out how much would it cost to be Iron Man. Tony Stark lives in a luxurious cliffside manor in Malibu, California, and it is extraordinarily high tech. Malibu homes that size go for about $75 million. Now, the closest thing in the real world to Stark's crazy mansion would be Bill Gates' home in Medina, Washington. It's a huge house with similar voice-activated computers, an underwater music system, heated floors, a private library, and a 23-car garage. Insurance companies have valued the home at $147 million. And let's add in $10 million for Stark's Malibu zip code. The Stark Tower in New York City was based on the MetLife building in Manhattan. In real life, billionaire Donald Bren owns the building, which is valued at $3 billion. Add in the Stark technology, and we get $3,257,000,000. The highest paid stylists in Malibu charge up to $1,000 for a haircut. So assuming Tony Stark gets a good shave and haircut for that trademark goatee once a month, it comes to $12,000. Let's add in some fancy suits, Rolexes, and designer sunglasses. That gets us to $100,000. Jarvis is a supercomputer with artificial intelligence that Stark designed to control his suits and mansion. One of the fastest and smartest computers in the world is the K-Computer in Japan. It is capable of eight quadrillion calculations per second and cost $1.4 billion to design and develop. Stark's Jarvis uses a remarkable amount of HUD virtual reality. The popular virtual reality tech of Oculus Rift was recently acquired by Facebook for $2 billion. Add up those numbers, plus Jarvis has a really cool accent, which is not cheap. We get $3.5 billion. Tony Stark's Palladium Core Arc Reactor doesn't really exist, so we can't figure out the real price to make one. However, according to online comic book encyclopedia Comic Vine, Tony Stark's Arc Reactor is capable of 12 gigajoules per second and 16 million horsepower. For comparison, NASA's Space Shuttle is capable of 37 million horsepower. The Space Shuttle Endeavor cost $1.7 billion. It might be a bit of a stretch to say the closest energy-consuming vehicle to Iron Man's suit in the real world is the Space Shuttle, but it's as good a guess as any. We'll assign that cost at 1.7 billion. 1.7 billion dollars. The research and development of the Iron Man suit in the movies is actually pretty insignificant. Tony draws up the plans by himself and built the first version in a cave with a bunch of scraps. In the real world, however, putting together a research team as smart as Stark would be quite expensive. Military aerospace and weapons engineers make about $120,000 per year, and a solid team would cost about $2 million a year. Now let's look at the cost of high-tech aircraft. A stealth bomber plane like the Northrop Grumman B-2 Spirit plane is close to the capabilities of Iron Man in terms of flight, speed, weapons, etc. According to the U.S. Air Force, the maintenance, faculties, construction, and spare parts for this aircraft come to $2.13 billion per unit. Adding up those numbers gets us to $2 billion, $132 million. To calculate the cost of all the different Iron Man suits would be impossible because they each have different functions and capabilities. To find a real-world cost, we're going to take the cost of the most high-tech aircraft, a Northrop Grumman B-2, which costs $2.13 billion per craft, and assign that cost to each suit. If each of the 42 suits is $2.13 billion, that gets us to $89,460,000,000. These numbers added up give us a grand total of $100,049,100,000. If anyone could afford to be a superhero, it would be Tony Stark.